Hey everybody, welcome to Local Light. John Compton here. It's good to have you guys with us. I've got a couple of folks from the Mid Columbia Medical Center's new project, which is a wellness center called Water's Edge. And it's down in the Lone Pine Village area near uh, the Dells Dam. You probably noticed it, great big building. I have Dr. Cardosi and Dr. Ann Stanley with me today. So I appreciate you guys coming on. You're gonna okay. inform us a bit about this big project and how this is gonna impact our community. And so let's, let's go ahead and start with Dr. Cardosi. What's your involvement with the whole project? Um, I'm going to be the medical director of the uh, medically supervised fitness program, which is a program aimed at, at older athletes as I like to uh, refer to them, there's increasing evidence that activity throughout your whole life is beneficial. And an opportunity uh, for improving people's health is to remain active um, as they get older. And as <clears throat> they experience you know, difficult uh, times in their life, they may have the onset of certain medical problems, certain things that impair their ability to get out and exercise. Mm -hmm. And so a big focus of this program is creating exercise opportunities and activities uh, for these people. Okay, so this was a demand that you, you, you saw in the gorge or this was something, how, I mean, how exactly did that come about? Well, there's a concept of medically supervised fitness that's been popular more on the East Coast uh, than the West Coast. But what it involves essentially is uh, exercising and being active in a supervised fashion, uh, supervised by uh, maybe medical doctors in some case cases uh, by physical therapists, occupational therapists, diabetic um, educators, with the idea that knowing how to exercise, how hard to go, how long to go, when to do it, is not an intuitively obvious thing. Mm -hmm. um, even for able-bodied, uh, you know, optimally educated uh, people. Um, and those challenges are even greater as, again, we get, as we get older, we have more aches and pains, perhaps orthopedic limitations. Uh, maybe we've had a stroke, maybe we've had a heart attack. Um, exercise still helps those people. And bringing uh, exercise opportunities to those people can reduce uh, medical costs, it can reduce uh, debility, mm -hmm. um, and improve function. Okay, great. And Dr. Ann Stanley, you are a doctor of physical therapy. Yes. And so that is the tie-in then, I'm assuming, between Dr. Cardosi and yourself is you're able to um, help in enhance the programs that he's helping implement? I exactly. Part of my responsibilities are also the fitness center that Mid Columbia Medical Center currently has. And so it was a nice bridge between outpatient rehabilitation services, even acute care people coming out of the hospital, very sick, going into therapy services, then getting them into the fitness center. So it kind of all started to come together, and we realized we're helping these people that have been real ill and or had surgeries or injuries and getting them back out and moving, but there's a good population that really needs to have these lifestyle changes and put more into their health that we could bring and tie into the community in the same co concept of having the fitness center, the pools, the rehabilitation services all on site on top of the sleep center. It really deals with the whole person. Okay. And so okay. It, it, it meshed real nicely, the two programs. So, cool. Yeah. So you guys actually do have a program now then at, your, at the current location? Yes. And so this will just be an extension of, of that and some additional services? Exactly. All of the services that we have up at the hospital will be transported down there okay. and be able to grow. Okay. So yes. everything will be down there now? Yes. All in yes. one place. Great. Yes. Great. So. so now who's going to be taking advantage of these besides, I mean, people who've maybe been in an accident or have, you know, mm -hmm. physical therapy reasons that, you know, they're needing to do it. I mean, can, could I go mm -hmm. and get, yeah. we wanted to be learn an how to edge or uh, work out and exercise yeah. properly? <laughs> Ex exactly. Well, well, both Paul and I are athletes and we've both learned a lot that we weren't really exercising properly, that really some proper testing can get you past that hump or past the part where you always feel like you just get to this plateau and just stop. But we want this to be an access point for all community members. There's multiple ways you will enter the building. You could enter the building as a, a patient of one of the physicians, uh, a sleep center study patient. You could be seeing somebody through the integrative medicine, so acupuncture. You could come in as a therapy patient or just a community member. You might not need any of the other services or feel like you don't need any of the other ser services, but we want it to be a community hub and an education point on how you improve your whole lifestyle from nutrition to sleep to exercise. So it's okay. really available okay. to anybody. Cool. Well, um, I do want to talk more in depth about some of the uh, amazing 
features that this building has and some of the uh, like the pools I mean are really impressive and go into some of that but we'll do that in the second segment um, but also before we go to break I wanted to ask you guys what is what's the like if there was a way to for the community to understand what Water's Edge is would a wellness center is that the best way to just to kind of form it all up it's a holistic wellness center so holistic meaning okay. it's dealing with physical spiritual psychological um, health all aspects of who you are okay yeah okay um, I see it as a nexus yeah um, a nexus both physically uh, where people can come down and meet um, its location is kind of uniquely suited to a variety of different activities it's right by the river uh, the riverfront trail will pass right in front of it and will eventually be connected all the way to the Discovery Center. So as anybody with kids knows, if you've got to take your kids out on a little bike ride or on their tricycle or, or whatever, that is the safest um, and probably best place to do it. That's where many people go out and exercise on their walks, walk their dog. And so the idea that you can integrate um, social interaction, uh, exercise, eating, as there will be a bistro there, right. um, with restaurant services and outdoor seating, um, will provide an opportunity to you know, access a lot of different uh, functions. Yeah, absolutely, and all in a very safe and mm -hmm. um, scenic mm -hmm. piece. Beautiful. Wonderful, we're gonna take a quick break, but when we come back with Dr. Cardosi and Dr. Ann Stanley, we're gonna discuss a little more in depth about the wellness center that Mid-Columbia Medical Center has put in place called Water's Edge. We'll be right back.